Hi there. I'm Michael Odie, Senior Technical Director for Windows IT Pro. And in this month's IT Pro Perspectives column, I talk a little bit about uh, what I think is one of the questionable decisions that Microsoft has made with uh, Windows Server 2012. That's right. It's putting the Metro interface on Windows Server 2012. I think the Metro interface is great for touch screens and for clients, but I don't think it's the greatest choice for server operating systems. Certainly I know that you know Microsoft's future direction is to make the server headless to where you can interact with it and manage it without an interface at all. And that's great. That's, that's certainly the direction that things should be headed, and they are headed. But there was another perfectly good interface with the Windows Aereo, Windows 7 desktop style interface that was working perfectly well. And in the early releases, that was part of uh, the Windows Server 2012. Uh, but in the later releases in this RC, that's been removed, leaving administrators stuck with a new interface that's really better suited for a desktop or for a, even for a touchscreen tab pad than it is for a server. So let's jump in and have a couple quick looks at it so you can you can see what I'm talking about. Here's Windows Server 2012, uh, the RC. Uh, this is running on an HP ProLiant uh, DL380P Gen 8 server. And this is the Metro interface that you can see here, which is, at first it kind of looks like a normal desktop, but if you look closely, you can see at the bottom of the screen there is actually no start menu. Here is your server manager, and next to that is a PowerShell prompt and Windows Explorer, but where's the start menu? You think, well, well, how do I do anything on this? So there's certainly going to be a little learning curve when you jump into this. At this point in time, as far as I'm aware, there's no option to display the classic Windows desktop style interface. So uh, this is kind of what you have. Uh, server Manager is an, is an awesome tool. It lets you manage the local server and remote servers. You can add roles and features. You can see here that there are roles and features on the server. Uh, this one's running the file and, and storage services and Hyper-V and IIS here. Uh, you may wonder, well, okay, how do I run things? And one of the shortcuts here in the tools, this is a lot of what you would have seen in administrative tools off the start menu before. Many of the same tasks, and if you fire these things up, well, they pretty much look a lot like they did before. So there I started up Hyper-V Manager, and you can see it has pretty much your same classic uh, look and feel, but that the desktop to get there is different. So how do I start programs? Well, at first this is kind of mysterious, but there's this little area over here in this 4x4 four four pixel area in the top that brings up this screen. And this isn't always e the easiest to hit, in a, especially in an RDP session like I've got here. So anyway, here they are, and I can jump down here now that I've hit it. Uh, the start menu is the main interface, and this is loaded with some of your most common programs. I note, though, not all of the programs are in here. So this only has the most common things, and these are some of the things that I've installed. So, for instance, I've installed PowerShell ISE, so I can start it from there. And so you can see it loads up, and it pretty much has this, the same interface, which is, by the way, not all that touch-friendly, even though it's running from the touch interface. Still... Um, that's it, and if we minimize it, it pops down here to the bar like we did before. Uh, some of the other things, and see, that is kind of tricky to hit there. I don't know that this is going to be that cool. Okay, let's see if we can bring that up again. There. Okay, got it. And then into the settings menu, this is where you can go to, this is kind of handy in some ways because your power is right here. Uh, some quick notifications are here. So it's got some good attributes to it, but uh, it seems, well, it just doesn't seem quite all that uh, production ready to me. But anyway, this is where you go and you can get to your network settings and other things from, from this start menu and do some of the system configuration. So that is, oh, and you may wonder, well, how is it if, what if a program isn't displayed there? You said everything wasn't displayed on the start menu. Well, if it's not here, you can type the program name to start it up. For instance, uh, paint. I think paint is in there, there. So we started to type paint, and we can hit that, and paint will come up. But I'm not sure that I really think that's all that great to have to type things into a graphical user interface to run them. But anyway, that's just me, and that's Metro. So, is Metro a good decision on the server? I don't know. I have my doubts. Of all the great features in Server 2012, Metro is the thing there that I like the least. But who knows? Maybe I'll get used to it. 
What are your thoughts about Metro on the server? 